The ferro arm allows you to use any custom probes that you could create for your measurement session. If you have specific needs to a measurement job that require a certain custom probe, you can create that probe, attach it to the ferro arm, describe it in the software, and calibrate that probe to use in your measurement session. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom probe within the software, calibrate that probe so that you can use it for measurements. What we have attached to the end of the arm here is a 20 millimeter ball probe. This particular probe is a custom probe created for a specific measurement in which a larger ball was required. This 20 millimeter ball probe is attached to the end of the arm and now we're going to define it in the software and then calibrate it. By calibrating the probe, we can define the center point location relative to the last axis of the arm so that the arm can continue measuring as it would with any other standard probe. Let's start in the software. Select P on the keyboard to get into the probe dialog. Select probe management. And you can see our current probe is set to a six millimeter ball probe. In order to enter in the custom probe, select the drop down and notice that we don't have a 20 millimeter probe available. Select edit. This is the screen where we create our new custom probe. Under name, describe your new probe. I'm going to call this one 20 millimeter ball probe. Enter in the probe diameter and make sure you're entering in the proper units. If you have the software in millimeters, enter in the diameter in millimeters. If you have the software in inches, then enter in the inches value. Choose whether you want guidance on or off. We're going to turn it off for this example. Select Create New. And now we've created a new probe identity, 20 millimeter ball probe. Notice that the picture has a large question mark at the end of the probe. This is because it doesn't know the specific type of custom probe we have. It still has the information entered, so this is a valid probe. In the future, if you need to use this probe again, it will be available to you in the drop-down menu as one of your custom probes. Select Whole Calibration to calibrate the probe. Now that we have the probe entered in in the software, we're ready to calibrate. I have the calibration screen brought up on the screen. Calibrating the ball probe, even though it's a different diameter, is going to be very similar to calibrating the standard three millimeter or six millimeter probes. We have our calibration cone in front of us from the probe kit. We're going to rest the probe inside the cone and take points sweeping in each of the three cuts. Because this is a large diameter ball, it doesn't sit inside the cone very easily. It has a tendency to slip out. Because of that, you can use your hand to make sure you keep the ball in that location as you're taking points. We're also going to modify our probe calibration method slightly so that we can make sure we get a stable pivot of the ball as we're calibrating. Let's begin by placing the ball in the cone. Make sure it's resting securely. Come down to about a 45 degree angle, press and hold the green button, and take points sweeping up to vertical. We're going to repeat that process in the next two cuts. Come down about to 45, press and hold the green button, and come up to vertical. One last pivot. Come up to vertical. And then if you're using a seven axis arm, take one more sweep of the handle axis. Now that we've had all the points that we need, press the red button, and you can calculate whether your probe calibration passed or failed. We've got a passing calibration, so we're ready to measure with the arm. Keep in mind, if your custom probe is significantly larger than what we have here, you may not be able to stay in the cone. In this case, you'll want to modify your setup a bit in order to calibrate your probe. You can calibrate in any location that you can pivot the ball repeatedly. Machined holes are often good for this. 
If you look at an example in front of us here, you would rest the ball inside the machined hole and pivot. This hole should be a smaller diameter than the ball itself to allow you to pivot repeatedly in the same position. What you've just seen is how to calibrate a custom probe using the hole calibration method.